All right, we're back again. And like I said, we're gonna be finishing up the forging and shaping of the billet we did last time. Um, I did measure it out, it is 3 16 and I like that because that's what I mainly work with, the 3 16 My jaws are actually set for 3 16 That's what I work with. So, um, I'm not gonna do a long intro. Let's rock and roll. What's up, channel? So today is always a good day as well. It's mail day, and we love deliveries. We love deliveries, little goodies that always come to help us out make a better product. All right, now uh, these two deliveries today are from Rockler. Rockler is a great company. They have, uh, and this is not a paid endorsement or anything like that. It's just a company I've been using for a while now, uh, on and off. They have uh, good wood, stabilized wood. They have, uh, I believe, acrylics, uh, turning tools. They, they have, um, I think you can get belts and, uh, you know, a whole bunch of different stuff. Just go, just type in Rockler and look at all the stuff they got. Um, they, they, they've helped me out a lot and I've gotten blocks from them. Um, but what I really like getting and being in a long box, I think I know what this is. Another shop knife. But yeah, they leave me no choice but I like getting these uh, little inlays because uh, I think these are for flooring and whatnot, but they make the perfect little scale. This is a, like a Wango color. You know me, I love to smell my wood. <laughs> oh yeah, and this is uh, Pataku. Awesome, 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 awesome. Love this stuff. Okay, one box out of the way. Ooh, purple heart. I love purple heart. This goes well with uh, any kind of brass, copper fittings, or spacers. It's really cool. I, I use this a lot. Um, yeah, so again, I don't know why they put it in separate packages. Eh, I don't know. So yeah, those are my three colors I got in it. I will be using this on future builds. So get ready for that. So that's an amazing uh, transformation I made today. Uh, we took a single billet, we shaped the, uh, the point as best as I want to. I'm gonna grind it after that. Uh, sometimes I bring it to a direct point when I'm doing my Santucos and whatnot like that. Uh, but this time I'm not gonna really worry about it because uh, I'll just hit it up on the grinder and it'll pull it right out. Uh, I do have a bit of a, a curve here, but when I laid it flat on the anvil, all I could see was light right about here. 
And again, we'll work that out on shaping. But what uh, is important, and I found this out earlier on when I first started forging, you have to put the bevel in. Well, you don't have to, but it's easier if you put the bevel in, especially for patterns and when you're doing Damascus or uh, in this case, Sam Mai. I've bought in Sam Mai billets and done this before, but this is, like I said, the first one I've ever created myself. And if you go ahead, and this thing's still really hot, I can feel the heat coming off of it, so we can't touch it until it cools down. But that'll be on a different video when I'm doing the grinding and the shaping and uh, really putting it together and getting a nice finish on it. Um, but it, it, it's, it's important for me when I'm doing my knives is to pound that uh, bevel in right here because it'll compress that uh, metal more and more to that point. So when you do grind it off and sand it, it'll bring out that under uh, belly uh, steel, the 1095, and pull it forward and you'll have a nice hormone pattern when you uh, go ahead and etch it. And uh, we, the tank came out great. It, oops, sorry, I'll delete that one out. Um, and uh, yeah, I actually use uh, double layer gloves. I put a glove inside of a glove. And uh, again, something you learn on how to work with hot steel and forges. And don't grab a snowball on a forge, ever. I've done it twice. Um, but yeah, so this was fun. Uh, like and subscribe, uh, professionals out there, go ahead and give me a comment. Uh, let me know uh, any mistakes I made or any tips or tricks that uh, I should try next time. Uh, because like I said, I the, my favorite time in the shop is when it's forge day. And I mean, lighting a big fire, getting to town on it, moving some steel. That's what the essence of all this is about. You know, uh, Conan in the beginning talked about it best. Uh, you know, Crumb lived underneath the mountain and you took his steel and you moved it. And that, that's something special. It's a, it's a gift from the gods that we stole. And uh, metal urging is just, it's heat and it's power. And you, you make something that, a tool that is just spectacular. But again, uh, Thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe this, and uh, please leave a comment down below. I'm interested in seeing what you guys say, or how bad I messed up, or what I could have done better. You know, um, no comment is a bad comment. I just might jive back at you, but <laughs> don't worry. I try to answer all my comments. All right. Hey, thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Till next time.